What's going on guys, it's OmniArk and today I want to bring you a brand new video showing off the best gun in the Infinite Warfare beta so far. This gun is hands down like the best gun that you can be using and I wanted to show you guys this gun, the variant of it that I've been using and the class that goes along with it. So the gun that I'm talking about is the RPR Evo as you can see right here on the screen. This thing looks pretty freaking sick, not gonna lie, but the one that I actually been using the most is the RPR Evo Stabilizer. This is actually the first variant that you can get for 200 points i don't actually know what those uh points are called um they're the little like uh gear looking things i have 614 of them right now it only costs 200 to unlock this uh specific oops this specific uh variant of the gun and this thing is an absolute beast it's a submachine gun it shoots really really fast it absolutely melts people and it's basically like the vesper from black ops 3 uh back when it was really really good but not just that because of the variant we get this focus reduce idle sway while aiming down sights and on top of that uh that you can also switch this into an assault rifle yeah if you hold down triangle in game this literally turns into a assault rifle where the gun fires slower but it's more accurate uh and to be honest it's not that great in assault rifle mode you're mainly going to want to keep it in the smg default regular mode uh but in a pinch when you know that you're going to get into a longer range engagement it's almost always better to switch into the assault rifle mode and just try and get that long range kill you're gonna have a better chance doing it that way so like i said the gunfire is super fast it's a submachine gun so you're very mobile uh and it just absolutely melts people and i feel like this has the fastest time to kill out of all the guns that i've used thus far um minus maybe one or two variants that i'll get into later in the video near the end but there's a couple of things with this gun that i want to point out the first is which combat rig you should be using i know a lot of people have just been picking random combat rigs they've been picking ones that they see other people using or they see you know there's the only one that they have or whichever one they think has the better gun what i want to tell you is with this variant go for merc uh, and then change your trait to man at arms and what this is going to do is it's going to give you the maximum ammo capacity uh when you start off the match so I've run into this issue a couple of times in pubs. Now, this probably isn't going to be a big deal in competitive, uh, but in pubs, I've run into a couple of instances where I run out of ammo. Like this gun just fires so fast uh, that you just run out of ammo. So using this rig, you can actually start with maximum ammo without having to waste a perk slot or an attachment or anything. It's absolutely crazy. So just by picking this rig, you start with full ammo, which is absolutely nuts. And I think that's really, really awesome if you're playing pubs with the RPR. Now, for your weapon you could choose the steel dragon bull charge i don't even know what reactive armor is uh you can't even unlock this in the beta because of the level 30 level cap um but i've seen some people use bull charge i'm not good with it i use steel dragon it's okay it's not the best rig weapon but you're really like i said using it for the mat at arms traits this is going to give you full ammo so that's definitely one thing that i would recommend um also what i'm running here um i'm running the foregrip and the quick draw attachments um i do have some other ones i have haven't really tried out extended mags or suppressor I don't know if extended mags is really worth it on this gun because it actually reloads pretty fast which is another thing that makes this gun just ridiculously good I don't I don't know why but just everything about this gun is amazing um, you definitely do not need uh, any sort of optic or any sort of sight or whatever the iron sights are really really good on this gun uh, you definitely don't need it and especially when you switch into assault rifle mode it basically like the iron sight opens up into a red dot site almost and it has pretty good visibility definitely uh something that you will almost never need an optic for i don't see any situation where you would need an optic for that gun i'm running one personal radar this thing's actually amazing if you've never used this or you forget about your tacticals completely definitely use this it pretty much shows up a small uh, little radar on the bottom of your screen which shows where your enemies are and where they're coming from for a short duration super useful super awesome definitely good for the beginning of the game uh, like as soon as i spawn in i sprint towards the middle or or towards one of the sides and then i use this and see what people are uh dexterity is huge for submachine guns in this game you're going to be super super mobile when using the rpr evo so you definitely want to use dexterity because you're going to be uh reloading a lot uh you might have to switch if you have to pick up a gun like i said if you're on ammo but you shouldn't because of the rig that i was saying before but you are mainly using it for the faster reloads now also i use ghost uh this is awesome everybody is running uavs especially in the beta when this is the default um, per, the default score streak is the UAV uh, plus people aren't getting that high of kill streaks anyway so they just keep the UAV on plus 
we are still learning these maps people are still learning the maps so they have the uav on just so they can see where the enemies are coming from a uh, ghost is just absolutely amazing in the beta right now and i assume it's going to continue to be amazing once the game is officially released uh perk two i have tack resist uh you can really use whatever you want here some people like momentum or whatever tracker if you feel like uh following people around the map but i really don't see any benefit in hardline momentum or tracker for me at least for my play style specifically hardline is also good i did use this a little bit but then i realized that i don't really need my kill streaks that much because i always have a uav up from everybody else anyway so i figured i'd throw in the attack resist there's been a few times where a stun grenade or a flash grenade does cause me to die it's not that often but i figured might as well throw it on just in case especially considering there's not another good perk 2 slot option right now uh, until maybe scout Avenger or cold-blooded who knows and for perk 3 I was trying out marksman it does say that this is mainly for snipers but does have a small benefit for people uh, that are using other guns and I was trying this just because I wanted to see how accurate I could get this gun because like I said this is pretty much like the Vesper this gun fires super fast it absolutely melts at close range you can definitely hit fire with it uh, but it does suffer from a pretty bad recoil and that's why we're using the stabler variant like I said before plus we're using the foregrip uh, plus I threw on markman just to see if this would actually benefit my aim down sight stability honestly I didn't notice too much of a difference so you don't have to use this especially if you don't have it a uh, gung-ho is probably the best bet otherwise I don't see any reason to use pinpoint I don't see any reason to use hardwired really uh, unless EMPs are a big deal for you and then of course you have one point left so if you really want to you can put on an optic I really don't think that's a good idea uh, I would say probably a cluster grenade is the best thing to put on here you can put trip mines you can put secret grenades you can do whatever you want here you can experiment with all of these if you want I find cluster grenades are really pretty good I mean if you see if you know someone's coming somewhere you can throw it and you don't really have to worry about your timing as as much as in previous call of duties because this does explode four different times i believe it's three or four times i don't know but it's crazy that uh, i've gotten a decent amount of kills with it just because you don't have to really uh time it as perfectly as you used to in past call of duties now with that being said i want to go over a couple of other guns that are really good so far that i've used uh and that i've seen other people use in case you don't like the rpr evo for whatever reason maybe you're not a submachine gun player uh and it just doesn't fit your play style the raw is a really good gun this this is actually the first light machine gun that you get uh, and one of my friends actually told me to use this because I was having a little bit of trouble when the game first dropped yesterday I was like oh man I'm dying really fast I don't want to use he said to use this it's surprisingly good it kills really fast definitely better for medium to long range engagements but there are definitely maps even in the beta where this is is just better all all you know just all around it's just better um so yeah definitely would use the raw the kbs longbow is a crazy good sniper now i've seen a ton of people all over twitter myself included just talking about the snipers and dude the snipers are amazing in this game at least this one specifically uh because it's just so good like you almost never get hit markers with this thing and i'm pretty sure there's a really good aim assist put on the snipers in this game i don't know what it is but i just hit shots and i was never a sniper in black ops 3 i hated sniping in black ops 3 it was terrible for me i wasn't a sniper in advanced warfare i wasn't a sniper in ghosts uh i i haven't like actually quote unquote sniped since maybe modern warfare 3 or maybe black ops 2 a little bit the sniping in this game feels like modern warfare 2 in my opinion maybe it's an aim assist or whatever i'm not entirely sure but this is an amazing sniper even if you're not the best sniper this is a really good sniper definitely recommend it and i do recommend running a submachine gun as your secondary because there are going to be a lot of instances where you are close range in this game and you don't want to have your sniper out even if it is good just because like game the guns will melt you in this game and you don't want to be caught off guard close range with a sniper now if you don't have the rpr evo i would say use the arad this this gun uh, pretty much got me to the level that I needed to get the RPR Evo. Um, it's not as good. It doesn't have a, a fast time to kill, but it does have a pretty good fire rate and it's a little bit more accurate than the, or who, what am I kidding? It's a lot more accurate than the RPR Evo, especially at medium to longer ranges. I don't think you should use it for long range, uh, but it is a, definitely more accurate than the RPR. So definitely something you can keep in mind. I do think this is really good. There are some variants of the H or the FHR 40. Um, this counterweight variant is really easy to get and you do get the reduced recoil stability on it for free uh, definitely a good gun especially you know there is a variant that is a I don't know what purple is legendary yeah so a lot of people are using the 
FHR 40 Havoc because you can get a tactical nuke with this or whatever the D atomizer shrike uh, which you know will completely destroy everybody which is it's a nuke is what it is and you can only get it if you have uh, this gun or I think there might be other guns with that same thing I'm not entirely sure there aren't any here uh, but this gun is actually pretty good especially because of that 25 kill streak thing that I was just talking about um, but I've seen a lot of people using it because of that and that's definitely something you can use um, if you are able to get it you know at, quicker than you can get the um, the RPR anyway that's about it guys I just want to make this video telling you that this gun is absolutely amazing if you haven't used it definitely go use it and if you have used it once and didn't like it just give it another try I'm telling you it's really really good for close range play it like you would play the Vesper in Black Ops 3 and I'm telling you it's an incredible weapon uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if I did teach you a thing or two or gave you good tips if you are an Xbox one player and you don't have it until if you don't have this game until next weekend when you guys get the beta um, here's a few tips for you guys if you enjoyed it and if you found anything useful make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video that would be amazing uh, I would really 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 appreciate that it would help out my channel a ton make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one I'll definitely be uploading mostly infinite warfare gameplay from here on out uh, until the game drops and until I inevitably think the game is fucking garbage Garbage and I start playing Modern Warfare Remastered. Hopefully that doesn't happen for a few months, but I will be playing this game for as long as I possibly can. Uh, and I'm really excited for it. Really having a, a decent amount of fun with the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. If you've been playing the beta all weekend, tell me what your favorite gun is in the comment section below. And also tell me if you've had any success sniping. Um, I think a lot of people are having a lot of success sniping and I don't know what's going on with that. So hopefully uh, you guys will let me know if you guys are doing a lot better with snipers in this game as opposed to Black Black Ops 3. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.